Hey, what's up guys? This is Fabio and today we're going to have a look at how to set up your plugins in your channel of, the, of your instrument, whichever instruments you want, just by pushing one button on your Elgato Stream Deck, because that's why you clicked on this video, I guess. Anyway, let's go and dive straight into it. Now, first of all, for those who don't know yet, um, you know, just a little intro about what this um, Elgato Stream Deck is, and is this little object right here. As you can see, it's just uh, a bunch of um, lovely buttons that you can personalize however you want. You can just uh, use it for uh, shortcuts on Mac, um, Windows, or uh, for Logic Pro, you, for your editing software, um, Adobe, whatever, um, for OBS Studio, a lot of things. We're going to use these buttons today to set up plugins in your uh, channel, uh, on your channel stream, just by clicking one button. And this is possible thanks to this device and also with the latest version of Logic Pro. Um, 11 so you need to have these two things uh, in order to be doing the trick that I'm about to show you but now let's dive straight into it let me just switch to my workspace here there you go so first of all we're gonna create um, whichever um, instrument track you want I'm gonna create a MIDI software instruments track there it is um, so we have our instrument track here and now we're gonna click on the um, on the channel strip. Now the thing about the latest version of Logic Pro is that when you click on audio here on the on the left hand side of the screen, you have a little search bar here, right? That says, so you can you can search for your plugins uh, by typing in into this um, little bar. So if I type Pro Q uh, three, which is my favorite plugins for EQ stuff, um, you know it's gonna appear here. Um, which is already very quick. Uh, but if we, if we want to make it even quicker, we can use the Streamer Gather to automate all this process and just click in one button and uh, have the, um, the plugin active on your uh, Logic Pro workspace. There you go. So now how to set it up? Well, that's uh, pretty easy. Let's have a try together. Now to be able to set up this uh, in just one button, you need to go on the top right corner here where it says Stream Deck, where there is the, the app of the Stream Deck that you install after um, after getting the Stream Deck, I guess. And then you, you click on it, and then you go on Configure Stream Deck. There you go. And this will open up um, this wonderful page, very easy to use, where you can just move the button around. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, um, I might show uh, how everything works in this in another tutorial. So this is my profile for, for uh, Logic Pro. And I have a page where I set up all my plugins. As you can see, I've put out the Pro Q, the Vintage Q, Pro DS. This is all my favorite plugins. You can customize it however, however you want because it depends on which are the plugins that you love to use the most and that you are more comfortable having fun with when you're when you're producing music. I've set up two, two, uh, two folders here. Uh, these are the secondary plugins that I use, um, but this is the ones that I mostly use all the time. So I, I recommend doing one or two folders, depending on which ones are the plugins that you really need, because there's no point of putting uh, of making a thousand folders with all the plugins in it, because in the end, you know, it's, it takes more time to remember which plugin is in which folder, right? But instead, pick the plugins that you really, really need that you always use all the time, because this is going to be you know, your um, your master matrix strategy uh, for mixing your song. Um, all right, so now let's do one together. Basically, we click on one of these little squares and we look here in the right in the right column. We look for um, a folder Where is folder. Create, create a folder. There you go. So we, we create a folder here. We call it um, plugins tutorial tutorial uh, here it's better to always put it um, in the line underneath so that it stays in this little um, square and looks nice you can also pick one of one icon if you want um, but I'm gonna show you that uh, later now we can so we have a little folder here now plugins tutorial and we can just click on it and now we have all this space to create your plugin button all you have to do is to click on it then on the right side you can uh, look for this specific title which is multi-action so this is the way you can uh, set up your button um, for your plugin so you drag it into any of these uh, squares like that there you go and now you can select multiple actions to do now we're gonna basically automate 
what I showed you earlier, so with, with the search bar, and we're gonna do it all in one button. So how are we gonna do it? We're gonna title the first action, um, it's gonna be a hotkey. So we look for the hotkey, there you go. And we drag it in, as easy as that. Now the first hotkey will be to um, bring up the search bar. Now how do we do that? The shortcut for opening the, the search bar for the plugins is actually Control Command P. So we're gonna click here where it says click to assign. Now he's observing, he's observing, he's listening. We click Control Command P and that is going to open uh, your search bar. Now we have to put a text because that's what we were gonna do if we didn't have this wonderful device. So we look for text, which should be around here. There you go, it's here. We drag it in and um, you type in here in this little box the plugin that you really want to use in that moment which um, in my case let's say we wanted to use uh, FabFilter Pro Q3 so we go and write Pro Q3 there you go this is the text that is going to be automatically uh, put into your search bar um, make sure that the text that you write in this little box uh, is the same text that um, pops up when you search for that plugin in the search bar because if I write fab filter pro yeah you see it doesn't find it because he only understands the name of the plugin itself so it's pro q3 and now he finds it does it make sense? So you need to make sure that the text that you put in this little box is the same that comes up with the search bar. Now, having done that, there is only one thing left to do, which is to um, to, to press enter on your keyboard. But uh, we're going to automate that as well. So we're going to put another hotkey in here and we're going to put click to sign and we're going to do enter. There you go. Um, now we're going back. We can call this we give him a title, so we call it um, Fab Filter Pro Q3. Um, there you go. You can also find a lovely. Um, there's only one thing to, left to do, which is um, putting in a nice icon for Fab Filter Pro Q3. Right, for the icon, you can just get a, a, an icon from the internet. Like I, I got this. It's just a picture from the internet. I just. Literally, just don't load it from Google, <laughs> really. Um, even if it's, if, it's a, if it's a bit grainy, it's fine. It doesn't matter because it's going to be very small. So we have a little icon and all we're going to do is drop it in here in this little square that you, we can find here. And voila. So now we have Five Filter Pro Q3 with the picture of Five Filter Pro Q3. And now let's check it out if it actually works. Okay, so now we're gonna press this little button with Pro Q3 on the Stream Deck and voila! We have Fab Filter Pro Q3 opened up uh, in my workspace with just one button. So thank you very much for sticking with me guys until the end and I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below if there's anything that I can help you out with uh, in Logic Pro or what kind of content would you like to see more on this channel. That's all for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.